What's up everybody, so I just got done watching the reveal event and there were some good things about the presentation and some bad things. Also some things we already knew about. 90% of the shit we already knew about. Um, one, it's $300. We kinda already knew that. I mean most of the rumors were like 250 but there was a rumor that it was 250 to $300 which I wanted 250 because that would be a better price point, especially if they're weaker than the Xbox One and PS4, which you can get both of them for 250 So that's eh, a little annoying. But $300 isn't the worst. It's not like they're asking for $400. Also, it's coming out on the 3rd of March, which is a lot sooner than most people thought. They thought that it was going to be the 17th in a lot of rumors. Um, or the end of March like they're barely gonna hit Q1 of 2017 which is good they also talked about what you actually get when you buy the console you get the console itself the dock the two joy cons the joy con grip so like you get an actual controller you don't just have to have it in tablet mode to feel like you're using a controller um, you also get an HDMI an AC adapter but the coolest thing that comes with the console is the Joy-Con straps now they're meant to, for the motion controls that they have but they also do one thing better they actually have to slide on to the Joy-Cons like you were going to slide it onto the actual console but because of that the piece that slides on actually makes it bigger so that scene that we saw in the original trailer with two guys playing Mario Kart and it seemed like they were having trouble holding the controllers themselves, it'll make those a little bit bigger. Going on to motion controls, that's where it started heading south really fast for about 25 to 30 minutes of this goddamn presentation was about motion controls. There's an HD rumble system which while it's great because maybe it'll make games better that use a regular controller I'm hoping at least it's really pointless um, they showed two launch games which you know you should be excited for but turns out their one two switch is one game and the other one's arms arms is going to be a meme of 2017 I can almost guarantee it it's pretty much just Wii Sports Boxing with a new skin but you can also use the controllers to tilt your person to like actually move side to side. But it, it's just Wii Sports Boxing. And no one cares. No one cared, what, eight years ago, ten years ago? Why do we care now? Um, the other game, 1-2 Switch, is the most retarded game I've ever heard of. Um, they expect you not to look at the screen. It is not a game that you look at the screen. It's for these weird situations that they think Americans have all the goddamn time. Never seen it. Um, they expect us to take our switches everywhere with us and, you know, barbecue. Instead of talking to your family and friends at a barbecue, they expect you to put down the switch and play this game called 1-2 Switch. And as far as I can tell, the only thing you do is you duel with the Joy-Cons. Like, you know, old-time westerns, you pull you duel with somebody it's retarded no one cares also if we wanted to do this kind of shit we would go to the gym we would go you know play basketball we would do these things that's why vr doesn't work because no one wants to get hot and sweaty playing a video game the only people that like doing that kind of shit are soccer moms and like families that like just dance that's about it that's the only thing that anybody likes when it comes to motion controls with Wii, Wii U, all that shit. So it's just pointless. And these are two launch games. Two of the three that I'm pretty sure they announced were launch games. Like we know for a fact they're coming launch. Oh, and Splatoon 2. We'll get into that in a second. It also features a capacitive touch screen, which is pretty good because... The DS, 3DS, Wii U, they were all resistive touch screens, which, you know, it can take one point 
you know tap on things and it would work just fine but capacitive allows you to do what you do with your smartphone like zoom in on a map you know use two points or three points of touch to actually do things so that's good I mean by now they should have already had it it should have been on the Wii U honestly because that came out in 2012 it was already on phones I don't know why it was on the Wii U but they also revealed that it won't be region locked which makes a lot of sense seeing how it's a portable console so it shouldn't be region locked like nobody asked for that in the first place like that should have been gone a long time ago um, now some bad news because apparently they think they're allowed to do this like Sony and Microsoft do it multiplayer won't be free they expect you to pay for a subscription which I don't know how well that's gonna go over when no one plays your console in the first place so asking them to pay probably like sixty dollars a year is ridiculous I don't know Nintendo's stupid but I guess they're just trying to find other ways to make money now on to the games now I'm going to talk about games that were announced f for the console and launch games first launch games arms one two switch and Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild has been confirmed to be a launch game which is amazing because if they didn't have at least one launch game that everyone cared about it would be we 2.0 all over again Wii U 2.0 uh, they also showed Skyrim it has been officially announced to actually come to the system like before they oh we don't know if it's coming or not but it is Splatoon 2 I, it's like Call of Duty just Splatoon it's probably going to have a lot of the same things with a couple new features but pretty much the same gameplay which fine considered a second game whatever the only game I saw that I was super excited about and then got super depressed because it's not a launch game is Super Mario Odyssey it's pretty much Super Mario 64 and all those games that were th like a 3d platformer that I loved about the Super Mario 64 game that's the only one I really played all the way through the rest of them I play here and there but I never make it through because it's boring to me I just don't like platformers but 3d platformers I can get into so that's a great it's also open world sandbox which everybody's been asking for but yeah it's not coming till holiday 2017 it's not a launch game if that was a launch game Everyone would have said this is going to be a great system, great launch, but it's not because they waited way too long to start development on a game that everyone's been asking for since, I think, Super Mario Galaxy or something like that. I never played it, but I'm almost certain that one was also a 3D platformer. Now, some games that were in a montage that they didn't say if they're coming or not, but you know with Skyrim in the last trailer and actually coming now so maybe there's some hope to some of these especially seeing that one of them isn't even a game yet okay Minecraft story mode and Minecraft they showed most likely they will come because I know Minecraft made it to the Wii U Skylanders Imaginators who the fuck cares Rayman Legends isn't that already a game is that just a port well that's ridiculous if it is um, and the only other game that makes me think that these games are actually coming are NBA 2k18 that game hasn't come out yet so maybe there's some hope that a lot of games are coming to the system oh and FIFA 17 was announced EA came out and I thought I was about to hear Battlefield 1 is coming to the switch I was gonna lose my shit but no, it's FIFA, because everybody cares about FIFA. I mean, that really doesn't show anything, honestly. I mean, FIFA 14 came out for the PS2 when it came out. Like, it doesn't mean shit when you bring FIFA to a console. But that's pretty much all we know so far. Like I said, I'm doing this minutes after the reveal. And maybe we'll learn some more stuff tomorrow. 
hopefully about the specs inside the console we didn't hear anything tonight which is a downer and hopefully there's more third party games to be announced tomorrow I don't know this might be Wii U 2.0 2.0 so I'll see you in the next video peace out